Hey, it's Decode here. Hope you're having a safe Christmas. What's he mean, safe? Let me explain, at this time of year when so many children receive games and gaming devices as presents, I'd like to guide you with age rating. On every game these days, including mobile apps now, there is a pan-European game information age rating. These usually look like these. Well, I've seen those. They're just how many hours it takes to complete a game. Wrong! These are what age games are seen to be appropriate for. We have Three years and over, which is really any age. These are typically the games that are approved for anyone and can have small comical violence, you know, like Tom and Jerry. Seven years and over, which is in school years from roughly year two, year three, or key stage one as you class it. These are games that would have been rated for Peggy rating three, but have some frightening sounds or scenes that may be unsuitable for this age range. 12 years and over translates to years 7, 8 or around the... while you're in your first year of secondary school. Things get a bit more complicated here. These are games that show graphical violence towards fantasy characters and non-graphical violence towards humans and animals, including any mild bad language and Slight nudity. 16 years and over is usually year 11, the end of compulsory education. This category is when the violence or sexual nature is graphically correct as it would appear in real life, has more extreme bad language, use of tobacco, drugs and criminal activity. Then last but not least we have the 18 rating. This is adults only. It's obvious what this one means, no holdbacks, violence to extreme degree that could actually make a player feel a sense of revulsion. I'm not going to pay attention to this guy. Well, see, you know, I let my kids play 18s all the time and they're fine. Studies into the effect of violence and sexual content frequently associated with games rated 18 show an increase in aggressive and sexualized behavior by children. Do you want your violent eight-year-old arrested for killing someone? No. If it's a game that connects to an online server, for example, PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, be careful who your child associates with. Some sick people use video game networks to communicate with children and blackmail or even have sexual relations with. My child would never meet with some random stranger. Wrong again, my good looking friend. Just check out these videos here. We have both a boys edition and a girls edition. These are where parents thought their child would never do it, but unfortunately for them, proved wrong. I've seen some children, I'm sure you all have, who have tried to buy games that are not appropriate for their age. The shop won't sell them, the parent comes, gets the game, walks out the shop and instantly hands that game to the child. I mean seriously, you wouldn't buy a porno magazine in the shop then outside hand it to your young child. So tell me, are all games bad? No, in fact, games can help children in the most amazing ways. Studies show that 70% socialise with their friends more while playing video games in the same room compared to 20% who just play alone. It improves critical thinking and reading skills as well as technical skill sets. They even help with children's cognitive development. So before you start chucking out their iPad, Xbox, PlayStation or Wii, remember that game ratings are there to help not hinder. It's the parent or carer's responsibility to keep your child safe. Okay guys, hopefully this video helped you out and didn't bring you down. I myself am a gamer and a dad and try to guide my children in the best way I can. So remember, games aren't bad as long as it's appropriate for that child's age. Have a good Christmas and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.